Hello students, it's Mrs. Hill um, from Green Springs Elementary or Clyde Elementary. I work in both buildings. I wanted to take a few moments and just show our kindergarten through third grade students. Show you, remind you, make you think, because we have learned this if you have me as a teacher, um, how to get on your Google account. When you get on the internet, sometimes it automatically takes you to a website. Our website here is our school district's homepage. Our address bar says Clyde.K12, yada, yada. We don't want that. We want to sign into our Google account so that we can access the information your teachers are sharing with you. So we take our mouse or our touchpad and we click up top our address bar. And we're gonna type Google dot com enter now we're looking at our google page our address bar says google.com we have our search bar and our address bar now that we're in google we go to the top right and we look at our profile icon i have two profile icons i have one that's blank it's what i call the fake person I have another one that's a circle with the letter C because my first name starts with the letter C. When I take my mouse or my touchpad and I click the letter C, it shows me who is logged in to this Google account. It has my name, Crystal Hill. So I am logged in to my Google account. All of my bookmarks are at my bookmark bar my email is on here. Everything I need for me is on here. If you log into Google and you see this initial, but it's not your initial, and you find someone else's name, all you have to do is go to the bottom where it says add another account and you click it. Now it says sign in use your Google account. So you erase what is right here and you type in your Google account. Well, what is your Google account? It's your email address. And your email address is your graduation year, your first initial, your last name, then the at symbol, and how you get at is hold down shift, tap the number two. Then you type Clyde.k12.oh.us. So from here, we're going to pretend that I'm logging into my account. So I'm gonna type my graduation year, two, zero, first initial, last name, at symbol, shift two, then we type Clyde, C-L-Y-D-E, then dot or the period. Find the period, Clyde dot K-12 dot O-H dot U-S. Then we click enter or next. Now it's asking for our password. What is your password? Your password is graduation year, C, G, S, then your lunch pin. So I'm gonna type in my password, two, zero, C, G, S, then my lunch pin, one, two, three, four. Enter. So now I am signed into my Google account. There is the initial C again because the fake student account that I logged into is titled, I click it, is titled Clyde Student. And you can see the email, 20C student at Clyde.k12.oh.us. Now that I'm in my account, I can go to my apps or my applications, which are the nine dots 
next to my initial and I click these apps. Now I can find many apps. I can find my Gmail, which is your email. I can click it. Now my email shows up. How do I read an email? I simply click right there and then I can read the email. I can put it in the trash can by clicking trash. Okay. If I need to go back because I want to go to Google Classroom, I go back to my nine dots. I find the icon, the picture that says classroom and I click classroom. And now that I'm in Google Classroom, you may have one, two, three, four of these squares. It should say your teacher's name. This teacher is Brian Hill, happens to be my husband, Mr. Hill. When I take my mouse or my touchpad, I go up to this guy right here, I can click on the name of the class. So now that we're in the classroom, we have three tabs at the top. The first one says stream. It's similar to like chatting with someone or just posting comments. When I go to classwork, here is where your teachers will be placing assignments or things to do. It'll show up here. You can see the due date, okay? How do you open it? You just click on the different links. Then when we go to people, you will see all the people in your class. If you want to email someone in the class, you look at their name, follow it here and click their envelope. And this envelope allows you to email them from Google Classroom. If you are done with Google Classroom, you can just close out the tabs. Okay, now it takes me back to Google Mail because that's where I was last. So now that I'm, I'm finished with showing you Google Classroom and Google Mail, how to find your email, I'm gonna go back to my nine dots and I'm just gonna remind you of some of the applications you have been using. Google Mail, Google Classroom. Some of you have also used Google Docs, Google Documents, that's this blue rectangle with white lines, okay? You can click Google Docs and it opens Google Docs. I'm gonna now get out of my school computer and show you a Chromebook in the event that you're borrowing brothers or sisters Chromebook. So I'm just gonna close out of the internet by clicking the X in the top right. And I want to come over here. I'm going to show you guys. I just wanna let you know, when you're using a school district's Chromebook, you're borrowing it from a cousin, an older brother or sister, um, the school's Chromebooks are different because when you log into the Chromebook, you're logging into Google. That's different than logging into a computer, okay? When you log into a computer, you're just using Google. You have to connect to Google. When you sign into a Chromebook, you automatically connect to Google because the Chromebook is a Google product. You see my daughter's name and you see Clyde student. Well, let's say you're borrowing someone's Chromebook and your name is not there. What you have to do is you have to go to the bottom and you have to click add person. It says sign into your Chromebook. Well, here it needs your email. And if you remember your email is your graduation year, so two, zero, then your first initial and your last name. But on the school's Chromebooks, you do not have to type the end of the email because the at clyde.k12.oh.us is already there. All you have to do is click next. Now it's asking for your password. Your password is 20CGS 
then your lunch pin. Then next, okay? We are now logged into a Chromebook and we see our school district's website. So now we follow the same steps that we did on the school computer. We go to the top address bar, we erase what's there, and we type google.com, enter. Now we're at Google. My profile icon has the C. I click on the C. It says Clyde Student. So it's now me. So now I can click on my nine dots, my apps. I can find my Gmail. I can find Google Classroom or any other application that I might need. So from here, you should be good to go. A quick reminder, your email is graduation year, first initial, last name, at clyde.k12.oh.us. Your password is graduation year, C-G-S, then your lunch pin. Our kindergarten students have a graduation year of 32. So it would be 32, first initial, last name, at clyde.k12.oh.us. Our first grade students have a graduation year of 31. Second grade students have a graduation year of 30. Third grade students have a graduation year of 29. So hopefully, boys and girls, this has helped you guys find two avenues, two different ways that you can sign into your Google account. Again, if you guys have any questions, you can even email me, Mrs. Hill. My email address is chill at clyde.k12.oh.us. I hope this was helpful. We miss you guys very much. Hope to see you soon.